Here's your WNEM-TV5 news update. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Colette Boyd. Here's a look at the top stories we're following today. It's Election Day. Voters are heading to the polls. Michigan represents the first major battleground state of this primary election season. Candidates from both sides of the aisle are fighting for the lion's share of votes today, all facing challenges. Former President Donald Trump has been the popular candidate among Republican voters. But former U.N. Ambassador Nikki Haley is still trailing. Haley, despite polling low compared to Trump, vows not to give up easily. And President Biden is facing opposition from critics of his handling of the Israel-Hamas war, with activists pushing voters to mark themselves as uncommitted. Saginaw Township Community Schools asking for a renewal on a non-homestead Millage, the district says that it gives schools funding and millions in funding and impacts businesses and non-primary resident property owners by having them pay the same millage rate that they're currently paying. If renewed, it stays in place until 2035. And a note to Beaver Township, the vote on the millage for the fire department is being delayed. Beaver Township says wording on the ballot is inconsistent and to avoid confusion, a corrected ballot question will be submitted for the August election. Well, the Genesee Valley Center is closed due to a power outage. According to the Genesee Valley Center, Consumers Energy is working on site on that issue. No word yet on when it will reopen. The mall reopened on Saturday after closing due to a water main break. Stay with TV5 for more updates. Now here's Diane with a look at your forecast. We have a nice afternoon and evening, but tonight we will be looking at strong storms in February. That's why we want to make sure that you are first alerted to this forecast as it's not normal for this time of year. And when you go outside, see all that sunshine and feel those 60s. Yeah, you're going to know it doesn't feel like February outside, but we'll continue with those conditions as we go through your afternoon and in around dinner time, we see a little more cloud cover building in because we do have that thunderstorm threat that is going to be towards our west. So this will be moving in from the southwest towards the northeast and here we are at midnight. So this is when a lot of us are asleep and this is just the beginning of our strong storm potential. So this line is going to push through. We will even find that coming into the tri cities just kind of clearing Genesee County as we get closer to 1 a.m. and 2 a.m. That's when we're almost to the lake shore and then out over the water. Once this line passes though, then we will see that severe weather threat drop as it's going to kind of eat up any ingredients that these storms are being fueled by. But another thing to know is midnight one o'clock. That's not really a great time as far as energy and for those storms to fire up. But still, there is enough support that we could have yet some stronger to severe storms, mainly some hail being a concern. I also though want to make sure that you have the TV5 First Alert weather app. It's free to download. Leave the sound on and as long as you have your location set, then you'll be able to get those watches or warnings if necessary directly to your phone tonight. So have the sound up tonight before you go to bed to get that information. As we go into Wednesday morning, we'll be seeing the rain pushing out and here's some snowfall towards our west. We have enough cold air that we are going to see our temperatures drop rapidly and anything that is wet could start to freeze over along with the scattered snow showers. Now the coverage, not all that great with the snow showers, but don't be surprised if you do see snowflakes as we go throughout the day tomorrow. But as far as the storms and what they are able to hold, we are going to find hail and strong winds are going to be our main concerns within this. And maybe you're even hearing some chatter on social media of the T word. As far as tornadoes, it's not exactly a 0% chance, but it is extremely low on this scale. So of course we will be watching this factor closely and of course all these risks we will be watching for. Again, we want you to stay updated here on air, online and on the TV5 First Alert weather app. Another thing to note with this forecast is that it's very warm. A lot of our temperatures already making it into the 60s, breaking previous records from 2018 that were set into the mid to upper 50s. Around 5 o'clock we will get official word from the National Weather Service. As far as the temperature change, we will start out around midnight with those 50s, but it's around the morning commute that we quickly turn over and here we go with 30s and then much of the afternoon going to be into the 20s. So make sure you're dressing on Wednesday for winter weather. Even though you see that 41, we're only going to experience that for a little bit. Falling temperatures by Thursday, we're back into the mid 30s. Then we have 40s, 50s and 60s as we go into the weekend. So the weekend's looking quite nice as we'll have some sunshine with only a little bit of cloud cover. Remember to tune into WNEM TV5 on air and online 24-7 for the latest news, weather, and information.